being an adult with adult money, it's fun and all, but it comes with adult problems. You kind of sort of want to start spending more. So, I don't know. I've been looking for a new computer for a while. I made a promise once I hit 100 subscribers or I find something that's on a great sale, but nothing so far. Also, I'm thinking of getting a GoPro at some point because I don't like the low light capabilities of this DJI that I got. I don't know. So this is a tangent as well. <laughs> but if you got any recommendations on a computer or a camera, uh, let me know. Thank you. Back to whatever it is I was doing. Now, to the untrained eye, it might seem like a beautiful spring morning or day and this big man enjoying life to the fullest, having fun, but rest assured it is not. I do not want to be here. No, I did not want to get here. Uh, being here, uh, it still sucks. I know, yeah. Scratch that. I do not want to be here. But I am. So yeah, it's Sunday. I'm on for a run. And I don't want to be here. So, what on earth are you doing outside then? I hear you ask. Well, no, I don't, because... Anyway, uh, well, I'm on a run because I want to be faster. I want to be faster than I've ever been. And me lying on a couch doesn't get me there. Because I'm not that slow to begin with. Doesn't mean that going outside comes easy all the time. Even though I've got you know, the goal clear in my mind. And despite what you're seeing, it's actually spring turning into summer, meaning I can actually start going fast, seeing where I'm at and getting towards the point where I need to have some results. So the original plan was that I was gonna go out in the woods, probably on uh, Saturday or Sunday and you know have a cup of coffee or whatever and talk to you guys there but yeah it didn't happen uh, because uh, we got a kid free Saturday he went off to his friend's place for a sleepover and uh, yesterday was actually quite blizzardy it was really snowing down heavily so me and the missus decided to hunker down you know gobble down way too many sweets and take away and watch a movie but the downside of not having the kid around is that apparently for me He's my reason for moderation. Uh, now we didn't drink anything last night, but all the chips and the chocolate and the yeah, now takeaway Chinese and whatnot. I went overboard. Yeah, I don't like half a chocolate. What do you call it? It's not a bar. It's a a shit ton of chocolate and you know a bag of chips and two or three sodas and Chinese takeaway. Way too much. And uh, in the words of uh, a great thinker of our time, Mr. Forrest Gump, 
I am not a smart man. I think he said something like that. Anyway, yeah, I was bloated throughout the night. I didn't sleep well. And today I've only had like, uh, like a few slices of bread because I'm still so bloated. I'm not hungry. I feel, feel almost sick, but with zero energy. Uh, a struggle for me to get outside today. Uh, I was, was bribing the kid you know, how about we get some subway or we can watch a movie today if you come with me because that would force my hand but he wasn't up for it and I'm not gonna force him so it was on me and uh, I'm not gonna say it was a full hour but it was probably almost an hour I spent indoors in this kit lying on the couch staring at the wall listening to my family saying the fuck are you doing head outside not with those except words they are more polite and then I finally did thinking once I go outside get a few steps in it is a gorgeous day I'm gonna feel so much better and I didn't so uh, I figured I'll force my hand and I'll choose a route that's I think it's at least three or four K so there's no other option because I'm not gonna turn back that's not anyway so here I am not having fun not enjoying uh, walking but still running because I do have the goal clear in my mind and it is something I'm looking forward to doing and it is something I understand I need to work towards now I haven't been for example wearing my headphones for the past month or so on majority of my runs because uh, I need to learn sort of getting get in touch with my body uh, in the sense that I sort of need to start getting a, getting a grasp on which zone I am and how fast am I really going and uh, how long can I sustain this pace all that stuff which uh, I was able to do a few years ago it's not like a it's not a big deal uh, but it is something you need to practice and keep actively doing or you will lose touch and I haven't for example been running uh, with a with my heart rate for the longest time because uh, for those uh, long runs all I really needed was zone 2 <laughs> and uh, and right now, for example, I've got my uh, watch covered up because uh, I don't want to know. I want to guess on uh, not how fast I'm going, but sort of the zone. I mean, I'm going to try and keep it consistent pace wise. But I want to say I am too high. The zone, this is zone three, high up there, especially since I'm now talking but uh, sort of a tempo pace, I feel like. But I don't know, I'll see, and I especially want to see how uh, consistent my heart rate was. Granted, I didn't put on my uh, chest strap. I'm only going on based off the wrist. So there's a slight discrepancy there. But, Anyway, that's beside the point. That's the plan for today. And uh, method to my madness. And I also have a coach. Uh, but I'm gonna start leaning more heavily on the data. Data. Data? Uh, actually, I'm gonna, gonna sort of go on, go on a, bit of tension here. Uh, 
What language do I speak? So I know I speak English, right? And as many of you probably know, it's not my first language. I'm from Finland, so I speak Finnish. Uh, but I'm not sure which English I speak. If I'd have to guess, I'd say more on the American side, but I do recognize some of the words being more uh, British. When it comes to my English skills, I've stated for the longest of times that I'm at, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I speak at a native level. Now to me, that means that I could comfortably get by, live in a in an English-speaking country, city, you know? Now obviously, could I work at, uh, say, financial industry or any office? Uh, probably not. I mean, I could, but there's that uh, the jargon, that specific lingo that obviously I don't no. Anyway, but I'm curious uh, to you guys. Uh, what language do I speak? If you had to guess, not knowing that I'm from Finland, which country, which country would you guess I'm from? Uh, do I have an accent? Am I easy to understand? Do I enunciate properly? Do I, you know? pronounce words correctly I don't know is there like please let me know I'm, I'm, I'm truly curious let me know in the comments <laughs> let's start running and I gotta re rewind the uh, footage and see what I was talking about I'm gonna start leaning heavily or more on data uh, data I'm gonna go on a tangent here now uh, because uh, working on those higher zones, zone 5 especially and uh, well yeah, zone 4, zone 5, those doing harder effort, shorter, harder efforts to me I feel like uh, those need to be more specific uh, whereas, you know, going on a 90 minute long run, easy pace as long as it feels easy and preferably a bit too easy then most likely you're doing it right but next week I've got like three two ones coming or 400 repeats all that stuff then I really need to focus on say 400 repeats for example I need to go hard but I need to go at a pace where I can complete the set amount of repeats uh, and more specifically in the same or close to the same uh, time time frame yeah three two one they need to be specific they need to be different uh, 30 seconds 20 seconds 10 seconds anyway so all that stuff to me feels more accurate more scientific so to say and uh, therefore I want and I feel like I need the data data I'm really hung up on that word I don't know how I usually say it and it, 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 it annoys me I guess that's it no that's it so it's been a good week let me know do I make sense ever did I ever make sense thank you all so much for watching oh each and every one of you has a glorious day like it is right now take care bye